let's sketch the graph of the given rational function. Okay, notice on this one, we have two vertical asymptotes. So test points are very important here. Um, we also have a horizontal asymptote of y equals zero, which remember that just is the x-axis. Okay, um, so let's get started sketching the asymptotes. So negative two, zero, gonna be about right here. Three, not negative two, zero, but just negative two. Uh, try that again. Three, it's gonna be about right there. And then y equals zero is gonna be the x-axis as promised, okay? So we're going to need to find four test points, right? Two for each vertical asymptote, okay? Let's plot the intercepts real quick before we do that. So um, we have um, sort of an x-intercept, okay? It's, it is an x-intercept at one, zero. And we have a y-intercept at one sixth. So ooh, that's going to be really close to the origin there. Okay. So now uh, we need to find our test points. Okay. And I promised four test points. Okay. And I'm actually going to use that table function in my calculator here, but yeah, whatever. It'll be fine. There's negative two. Here's three. All right. I'm going to use different colors for each. So for the left of negative two, I'm going to use negative 2.1. And for the right, I'm going to use negative 1.9. And then for three, the left of three, I'm going to use 2.9. And for the right of three, I'm going to use 3.1. Okay, so those are going to have to be the x values of my test points. And so I'm not going to write out the entire thing. I think by now we kind of know how to go about and find them. So I'm just going to set it up. Okay, and if I type them in my calculator, I end up with negative 6.078 to give me the test point, negative 2.1 comma negative 6 point, you know, one. I'm gonna round that a little bit. I'm gonna estimate it. Uh, negative 1.9 and 5.9. Let me, let me write that out better. This is gonna be 5.9184. So that's the point, negative 1.9 comma 5.9. Okay, uh, let's go to 2.9. So that gives me negative 3.878. In other words, 2.9 comma negative 3 point roughly 9. For what we're doing, that's perfectly fine. And then 4.1176. So 3.1 comma 4.1. All right, so I'm going to use these four test points to graph or sketch the graph. So at negative 2.1, I get negative 6.1. That's going to be down here somewhere. At negative 1.9, I get a positive 5.9. At 2.9, that's the left of this vertical asymptote here, I get negative 3.9. So that's going to be down here somewhere. And then at 3.1 to the right, I am 4.1, so it's going to be up here somewhere. All right, so maybe you can kind of see the shape a little bit. Okay, you have to stick close to the x-axis here, but below it, drop down, hit that point. Okay, uh, let's do the right side also, because that's easier. I'm going to drop down, hit that point, and then come out that way. Great. Okay, so now from here. Uh, the, the center piece, right? I have to hit this point. Yeah, just trace it, right? Just trace it. Curve through, hit that one, hit that one, and then out that way. All right. Funny looking uh, graph here, but that's our graph. All right. And so this one is especially important to use the test points because you can't tell what's going to happen in the middle um, without them. Okay, so there we go. There's a rough sketch of our rational function. 
that involves two vertical asymptotes.